Hello and welcome to the show. My name is Chris and today I'm going to be playing some Grounded. Now in full disclosure, this is a game I have played before. Uh, I do enjoy it. I just kind of wanted to play it. It's fun today. Let you guys see how I play the game. Maybe you'll pick up something you like. Single player, new game. Do it on medium for my first run. My name's Peter. My friends call me Pete. I always like Pete because I'm just a little geeky nerd like he is. All right, let's go. Episode one of Grounded. You can't run from me, you foul beast. <laughs> you think you have smarted me, the mighty Muldoon? on Yoke's Girth. Now a word from our sponsor. Kids, are you ready for a new wild and wacky Puncho fruit flavor? Introducing Apricot. It's a punch to the gut. So stop by, fill up, and make sure you get your Billy Hog hot dog before you get away. Good morning, Brook Hollow. Today is October 20, 1990. This is your news. We have a special breaking report. The police department has released information that more local teenagers have gone missing. They were last seen earlier this week, and the only connection between the teenagers is that they are all students at Brook Hollow High School. This could be linked to the disturbing trend of other possible abductions and missing teenagers from our otherwise quiet town. If anyone has seen the teenagers or has any other information, please contact the police department. The mayor of Brook Hollow has put a curfew into effect for anyone under 18 starting tonight. Now to other news. In the business world, ominous practical technology signs of new theater. This is one of the best openings I've ever seen. Maybe I'm biased because I love Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, and this is so much like it. Here we go. In the kid's case. Whoa, Pete. Oh, looks like you really stepped in it this time. Just where in the world are you? Hello? Hello? All right, Pete. Remember your scout training. Huh? Step one, get your bearings. Starting case. Alright, so I have played this game, like I said. I have not beat it. So, in this run, I do plan on beating it. And taking you guys along with me for the journey. Alright, pick up all the things around here. Uh, I always want to pick up as many things as possible in these games. What? Get off of me! Way too early for a mite. Hmm, 
Aquarius, Aphidoidia. I'm not gonna kill you with a rock. I wonder if I could keep that aphid as a pet. <laughs> well, I heard it. Didn't kill it. Consulting Detective Weevil, hot on the trail. He's got a nose for the truth. Hey, a common example of the Fermicidae family. Oh, what have I done? <laughs> oh, jeez. Woo! Hark, yonder lady of the Clover Forest. On what errand does the day find you? Yeah, ladybug. Literally thought that was a spider for a second. Moving all the, all the, the grass around. What's that? Ooh. It sounds like a radio signal. It must be being transmitted from nearby. Oh wow! My scout training doesn't have a merit badge for this. I'm just gonna go kill this mic. Oh, why don't you just stay over there, small red insect? Why did. Ugh. Oh. Mm -hmm. Ah! Gotcha. Right. I'm just glitching out the game? Nose, a nose. So I'm pretty sure they're attracted to the mushrooms. Okay. I think I got all the things for now. Yeah. As I pick up more things on my way. Away from me, Ant. Still kind of disappointed they, they haven't let us pet the ant yet. Or I just haven't figured it out. That would be so awesome. Alright. Let's go research. It's our safety test. Dr. Wendell Foley, power fluctuations are within acceptable range. The machine itself continues to operate as expected. Weatherproofing of the platform components is holding up quite well. The pylons, however, are a finicky trio. Maintaining the beam angles require regular obstruction removal. The yard is too is simply too alive for precision instruments. Yeah, whatever. That's the end of it. Alright, reminder, check in the beginning cell. If you guys want a stronger reader, I'm not your guy. Well, logic dictates that there are probably more of these stations around. Maybe if I keep searching, I'll find some clues. Or some one. Science. And a rock. That should get me the head start I need to make things. Go craft a few things real quick. Um, I want the spear. And the axe. Spears in this game are my favorite weapon. Get 
all the sprigs, all the things. Size of a, a bathroom scale? I'm gonna computer chips. Let's see what happens. Kill the tiny feet. Oh, huh. okay. it looks like this thing hooks up with those lasers. I don't think that worked properly. It seems like the machine needs all three lasers to function. Maybe there's a way to fix them? Thank you, Pete. Yeah, as you can see, one's being blocked, one's fluctuating. Yeah, let's come over here and chop this crash down. Ah! All right, one down. Flight path is not clear. Stupid gnats. Where they're more annoying in this game than real life. Well needed over there. In the cave. Oh, here they come again. Might as well just get them all. Any more? What's up? Go ahead, get them on the cable on the outside. I need. So many, so many little critters around the yard. My mom always disturbed the mites, and they'll bite. Yeah, we know what your mom said, Pete. Bob and weave with these these little gnats, little mites. All right. Now let's head back over over to the machine and get big. I'm gonna guess if you're watching me play, you've seen someone else play this game. And as we all know, you're not lucky enough to get big that quick. Not even sure when you get big. I haven't got there yet. Get a drink of water, hopefully. Nice clean. Things. Choke it down, Pete. Mm -hmm. 
I put that torch away so I don't lose it, huh? There's a sprig up here. Maybe I'm wrong. That's around with me, Ant. Coming in my face. Ruined it, Pete. You ruined it. Where is that stupid net? I'm gonna research that in a second. I'm come down here and get this. A scientific breakthrough. Man, I always feel like there should be something back there. Let me make it look. All right. Since we got the research machine here, let's just go ahead and research a couple things. Full charge on research. So, let's go ahead and research the planks in the grass. Grass is pretty important early on. And I like researching the aphids so I can get the aphid slippers because it makes you faster. And I'm one of these weird people where I will I will build my base up early game and concentrate on getting my base secure and then going ooh, tropical punch and then going heavy on mission. So I'm sorry if this first episode is boring. I am going to be building my base a little bit. Tremor detected. Something's afoot. <laughs> One long schnoz built for sniffing. <laughs> I was playing the forest a little bit earlier. Just like we. Man. That game still has me on edge. I hear things moving around. Always, always think it's something. All right. So poor Sarah and her little red mark. Um, I'm not going to read this one because I know there's a lot of spiders around here. So feel free to pause it and read it. I'm just trying to get out of here before I get tore up. Don't 
don't even need to play fids. Nature's lollipops. Finish the sentence, Pete. I don't like the way this ant keeps blowing up on me. Oh, there's a spider. So this is always where I build my first temporary base, and then I build up on that that little branch. I always do it. Um. And I'm going to do it this time too, just so I can, you know, play and complete and finish the game with you guys. That is a big spider. I don't think I'm high enough level to take on such a foe. And then I'll play again on low mode eventually, and I'll build kind of in the forest. The forest, quote unquote. Just for a challenge. But this is just kind of a fun playthrough. You know, just why I'm kind of establishing uh, playing, you know, with you know, with you guys talking on a mic, you know, talking and playing versus just playing are a little bit different. In spider. All right, aphid slippers. Like I said it's not very defensive, but makes you run faster. I appreciate. It. It's getting quite late. I should construct some shelter and get some sleep. Yeah, you already did, Pete. All right. Let's Go ahead and come over here. You know, while I'm standing in the, the death zone. Let's uh I wonder if I could keep that aphid as a pet. Make a hammer. So this <laughs> is definitely one of the reasons I like building over here. I love the av availability of the Acorns. And as you guys will find out, words are hard. I am not the greatest speecher. Get all the acorns we can. They will come in very handy here soon. One so I can dig up those little buggers. And two so I can make some acorn armor. Basic armor set. Ah, uh, well, short of the the clover leaf one, but I don't know why you'd waste your time on a clover leaf when you can just run over here and get the acorn. Now I'm sure you can't beat because you keep playing it. Uh, 
Okay, these acorns do respawn, I'm pretty sure, daily. Source of food. Um, I think you need them for chests. Obviously need them for... Um, like I said, armor. At least your early set. <laughs> Stay away, spooters. Stay away, you big. Alright. Those look like idealized geometric shapes in that pink thing. They can't be real. So retro, I love it. Um, So cool how he built into the tree. And I love these whiteboards. Can it be cooked? I don't even know what that means. Alright. Nope. Not ready for that. That's so cool that it shows all these now. I mean, kind of what they are, not not exactly where they're at. Beginning test forty-five, category non-organic. Test notes after successful miniaturization of a single complex electronic device. Test 44. Test 45 will attempt to shrink one full box of the device. Upon a beginning, subjects will be inspected and tested to ensure proper functionality results. Failure. Miniaturization successful, but in beginning and further testing is impossible at this moment. Subject was confiscated by a curious honeybee. Recovery unlikely. Box obliterated. Miniaturization scabbies are certainly stuck in every nook and cranny of the yard. Interesting. Never read that. That's new. Before we get burgle up. Fiat Luke's. I love this. I love his sign. How to make the perfect burger <laughs> for Burgle's eyes only. Blow. And these, I remember drawing those in school. So funny. Oh, wait, sir. Interesting. Okay. All right, let's go get Burgle. Come on, come on. System reboot in progress. Thanks for the helping hand. I am B -b 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 Burgle, acting science manager for this project. I am also a robot. I am sure this all must be very disorienting for you, but hopefully I can explain. I suspect you were miniaturized by Dr. Tully's spacer device. What is going on? Apparently we just don't see our head anymore. <laughs> Why are you here in the yard? I do not know. In fact, I cannot seem to recall much of anything. 
A recent power surge has caused a massive raw science containment explosion. This lab, as you can see, is a disaster. And what's worse, the explosion has disrupted my computing power. My memory banks are corrupted. Sorry to pile on the bad news, my new friend. How can I be of service? Where am I? You are here, in the Oak Lab. Built and used by Dr. Wendell Tatelli to experiment on all things small. This is the base of operations for conducting experiments in his yard. Who is Dr. Tully? Dr. Tully is a brilliant scientist and inventor. He is also my creator. My initial protocol was to serve as the short order cook of the future. However, I have been recently promoted to acting science manager to assist with his experiments. Although, now that I am processing it, I have not seen him for several weeks. And now I cannot recall where he went. It must be my c c corrupted memory banks. How come I can't remember anything? It seems you and I are both a little discombobulated. Given my best calculations, your biomass has been subject to covalent spacing reduction via interatomic energy extraction. In other words, you have been shrunk. It is like shrinking can be a traumatic experience for tiny human brains, and memory loss is a known side effect. Hopefully your memory will return in time. Sorry, hopefully you guys can pause and read that that previous burgle talk. How do I get home? To return to your prior size, you would need to successfully activate Dr. Telly's spacer platform. Unfortunately, my readings indicate it is inoperable. It appears to have suffered several malfunctions from the explosion. I am sorry, but it appears you may be stranded here for some time until we find a solution. Can we fix the spacer? Haha! <laughs> that is a great idea! <laughs> Let me run a full diagnostic scan on it and see what we need to do to get it fixed up. Processing! Processing! Memory fault. Code 408B3000. Ominent OS script runtime error. Arg. I am sorry again. It appears I have sustained more damage to my memory chips than expected. Without those memories, I do not know how to repair the spacer. Memory chips? Dr. Tully used two types of chips to back up my memory. Auxiliary chips are small capacity chips used to store project data. If you find these, I should be able to help you learn new survival recipes. Super chips are special, and they are gold! They back up full directories of my memory system. If we are going to fix the spacer, that data is bound to be on a super chip. I suggest exploring the other labs in the backyard. Return with any memory chips you find. The, there are other labs? Dr. Tully has built many more labs throughout the yard. Each lab is used for various experimental procedures. I can upload their locations to your scabby. Stand by. Processing. Processing. Error. Files not found. Code 632C404. Cheese and fries! The lab locations are missing from my memory banks, too! I love the way Burgle talks. But we are in luck. I was able to retrieve the location of one of the facilities, the Hedge Lab. What's the Hedge Lab? The Hedge Lab is the observation center of the yard and used for research on arachnid webbing. You will find the hedge near the house if you head southeast. The lab is located deep inside the hedge, sending the coordinates to your scabby. Try to find the hedge lab first, but there is nothing stopping you from searching the yard for the other labs. Except, of course, thousands of angry, hungry insects. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me. Dr. Tully locks the important labs with biometric scanners. You will need access for any chance of success. Head over to the ASL terminal and place your hand on the biometric scanner near it. 
Give it a moment to sync your signature into the mainframe. Once you are registered, you will be granted access to the ASL Network of Computers 2. ASL grants access to daily work items. Nay, tasks. Nay, quests. Yes, quests. I will reward you raw science for each completed quest. In my science shop, you can trade raw science back for survival recipes from experiments that Wendell conducted when he was first exploring the yard. Log on to the ASL terminal over there and see what is available. Unless you have any other questions, you really should get started finding those ch-ships and try not to die out there. Have an exponentially great day! You too, Burgle. Science. I'm holding raw science in my hands. What does it even mean? Google transcription unit 87.9.5. Order number one. Robot, I need you to monitor these power fluctuations and inform me if they exceed acceptable limits. Hello, my name is Burgle, and I will be serving you today. I specialize in cooking, flipping, and g, -g grilling Grilling? A feature useful only to your obsolete burger-flipping brethren now consigned to the scrap heap? I need you to monitor these readings, Burgle. And isn't it redundant to specialize in cooking and grilling? Understood. Appending monitor power fluctuations to my prime directive list. Deprioritizing grilling. Good. Now get on with it. Reprioritizing grilling. What a little shit. Alright, yeah, right there is where I sign off. Uh, thanks for joining me on the first episode of Grounded. Um, like, share, subscribe if you feel like. Um, like I said before, I'm doing this mainly just for fun. And so you guys can see maybe just another way of doing something. Um, until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Bye.